Alright guys, just want to do another video on uh, DCS Wolfpack Airport Operations. Uh, this is for IQT-1. And I just want to talk about some differences uh, between what we've done traditionally and BMS. Kusan Tower, Lobo 1-1, one, one, clear for takeoff, runway 36. Okay, so traditionally, you know, we've done patterns with gear down, 1,000 feet AGL, left-hand traffic pattern, uh, you know, just gear down the whole way. And the difference between BMS and what we've done previously is that BMS has an extraordinary ATC, or air traffic control interface, uh, very similar to uh, what FSX has. Uh, DCS is pretty decent. Um, this is just unparalleled. I mean... Uh, there's a term called deconfliction, and uh, what we're going to have is multiple packages that are going to be arriving on targets and leaving the airspace, also arriving it back at the same time. So it's all great, you know, when you got four aircraft that are just kind of hanging out in the pattern doing our thing. Uh, but when you have numerous packages, seed package, uh, cat package, um, strike package coming back at the same time, you really have to listen to what the ATC is, is uh, telling you to do. Um, so it, it's going to go fast and furious for a while. Um, don't expect it to be a left-hand pattern. It could be a right-hand pattern. Uh, and on these, you know, go ahead and, and raise the gear because uh, he can give you a speed between, you know, 200 knots all the way up to 400 and 400 plus uh, to maintain separation. And the reason he's giving you different speeds and altitudes is to keep you away from other aircraft uh, in, in the pattern. All right, so we'll go ahead and take off. I'll go through a, a touch and go uh, and what that looks like. All right, we're gonna have to burn a takeoff here. Lobo, one one, current on cow, expedite departure. Coming out of afterburner, positive rate gear up. Lobo, one, current on cow, resume all navigation. All right, so as soon as you take off, T and the number two key. I'm going to request the landing. Lobo, one, one. Climb to 3,000. Maintain 250 knots. Turn left heading 205. Vectors to final. Runway 36. Left 205. Lobo, one, Lobo, two. One, one. Orbit for spacing. Lobo, one, three. Current on Tau. You're cleared for takeoff. Runway 36. Lobo, one, one. Maintain 330 knots. Turn left heading 195. Left to 195, Lobo, Lobo one, one. one, two. Maintain 250 knots. Turn right heading 185. Vector three, airborne. Four, airborne. All right, so left to 195, Lobo, one, left one, to one, 3,000. Maintain 390 knots. Turn left heading 190. Left to 190, Lobo, one, one. Zero zero knots. So, as you can see, there's altitude, airspeed, and heading that you have to be aware of, uh, and it's a lot to do. Lobo, one, one. Maintain four one zero knots. Four one zero knots, level one. And as a real-life pilot, you know, I'm just a private pilot, but working in airspace, that's ATC's role is to maintain separation to an aircraft. See that aircraft right over there? When we have, you know, 15 Lobo, aircraft in the airspace, in we want to make sure that we are deconflicted. Maintain four three zero knots. Lobo, two one, orbit the spacing. Lobo, two two, orbit the spacing. Lobo, 2-1, maintain 250 knots, turn right heading 160, vectors to final, runway 36. Lobo, 1-1, one, one. maintain maximum forward speed. Lobo, 2-2, two, two. maintain Yeah, so another thing is, knots. you know, turn typically right lights are on in BMS. Uh, lights aren't really on unless it's low visibility or it's, uh, Lobo, one, two. Descend to nighttime. Turn left heading 135. Lobo, one one. Maintain maximum forward speed. Turn right heading one nine five. Right to one nine five. Lobo, one one. Lobo Descend one. to two thousand. Maintain two two zero knots. Turn left heading zero eight five. Vectors to final. Runway three six. Left to zero eight five. Inbound for landing. Good morning. Claw one. Finish on approach. Take spacing and continue inbound. Expect vectors. Runway three six. Welcome back. Alright, so there's roughly 085. He wants to be down 
you know, so it's slow down about 200 knots and down to 2,000 feet. And here I'm using the ILS as well. One, one. Maintain 440 knots. Turn left heading 050. Left is 050. 440 knots for level 11. One, one. Oh, oh, overshot my heading there. So, yeah, I mean, there's a ton to remember here. It's pretty much going to clear me in final here. Turn right heading 260. Vectors to final. Runway 36. All right, two six zero. One one. Maintain maximum forward speed. Logo one one. Turn left to final approach course three five five. Check speed. Left to final for logo one one. All right, so pretty much on final, you got to trust ATC that he's going to get you to where you know exactly where you need to go. I'm going to do this approach a little bit faster, um, just for time's sake. But once you get to final approach, you're cleared to land. Uh, I'm sorry, you're not cleared to land, but you're cleared for final. Uh, you want to start thinking about, and waypoint one is the airport, so right now we're five miles away. You want to start Lobo, thinking about slowing one, down, seven, getting final. the gear down below 300 knots, Lobo, one, and getting two, the speed brakes out. Final approach course, three, five, five. Slow to approach speed. Lobo, two, one. Descend to 3,000. Turn left heading, one, five, five. Vectors to final, runway All right, three, so there's below 300, Good morning, gear down. Clear for landing, runway 36, check gear down. Clear for landing, runway 36, Lobo, one, one. Lobo, one, four, inbound for landing. Lobo, one, three, orbit for spacing. Lobo, one, four, orbit for spacing. Lobo, two, two, maintain maximum forward speed. And a lot of people don't know that this little thing right here is the angle of attack indicator. If it's up, it means you're fast. If it's a donut, you're on speed. And if it's down, it means you're slow. So you want to ideally have a donut. I like to keep the power on during the flare here. And then get the uh, velocity vector on the horizon. Go to idle. And then for the touch and go, see we're about 10 or 11 up. What you want to do is go ahead and go full pop, attract the speed brakes, and the aircraft will take back off again. And I'll go ahead and go gear up. Alright, so as soon as you take off again, go ahead and request the landing. Lobo, one one, orbit for spacing. Lobo, one four, maintain two five zero knots. Turn left heading one eight five. Vectors to final, runway three six. All right, so you can see that there are numerous aircraft in the pattern here, um, and it's very important to maintain ATC instructions in order to uh, keep separation between aircraft. So there's a lot of things that you have to juggle: the airspeed, your heading, and your altitude. Uh, I hope that helps and highlights some of the differences between what we've done traditionally and uh, how BMS really changes things. It really is a realistic environment for aircraft. You really got to pay attention. When you're coming back at night in a IMC or instrument landing situation and there's 15 aircraft coming back, you want to make sure that you are deconflicted. Air collisions, air to air collisions are real in BMS. Uh, air to ground, actually, uh, ground to ground collisions are real as well. Uh, so you really want to make sure that you're on top of things. Um, there's a lot to remember. It's not just about getting bombs on target. It's also about being able to come back, fly the airplane, navigate, communicate with the tower. Um, one of the things you know we'll be doing is is uh, making our our ATC calls aloud uh, on the uh, UHF channel. So basically, it's just you know when you say on the tower says uh, maintain 300 knots, right to 360, up to 3,000 feet. Uh, <laughs> then you'll just repeat that. You'll say, uh, you know, on the on the UHF, right to 360, maintain 300 knots, Lobo 11, and then your call sends at the end. So, hope that helps, and uh, I'll see you guys in the sketch. Burn around.